Hellion, destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this clothing and Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold, and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? All right, then. So much easier to rob when you're dead! Now ain't this a surprise?
With the Empire's help, Winterhold will be back on its feet in no time. Good day. So, what's the latest? What's exciting your business news here in Winterhold? In Winterhold? There is no news, I'm afraid. Stay clear of that college. At all? If you know what's good nothing for you. From the college, even? Nothing but foul I deeds behind those walls. Yes, that'll be fine. Thank Winterhold you. has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power. I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the First Era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds, and give me some authority. Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Come back as soon as you have the helm. Yeah! 
Open! I'm ready to count out your toy. Victory is yours! I submit! May the gods watch over your battles, friend. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Good luck to you. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Winterhold. I grant you this weapon from the armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify the guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Aye. You see a hound on the road. Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Oh. Smart demands something up front. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. You are exactly what I was looking for! Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked to and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis. And I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. It's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay?
Hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh! <laughs> 
By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Ah, oh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side. Maybe. But no promises. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. One of Clavicus's little chess. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. All right then. We'll get together later.
You've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Mm. Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Only inside the gates. Much of Falkrith Hold is wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Yes? What is it that you want? Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I... may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one.
ain't this a surprise? <laughs> It's not the... <laughs> Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. 
However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. On your way, then. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. I've half a mind to ask if you'll take me on one of your adventures, but I can't just leave Volga on her own. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arcade? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Thank you. Children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Good. Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes and... They bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Folks have gone missing the past few weeks. Word now's that our hunters are gone too. <laughs> Say, if you're traveling, could you keep an eye out for them? Valder and his men, I think they were after Bear up north. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Tending to your hounds? Smell like a wet dog. These graves hold the sons and daughters of Falkreath. War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. Ah. Barret's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. 
Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. I am. I came into Arke's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Blessing of Arke to you for your help. Oh, merciful Arke, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kust is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. What's this, some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making lords smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the Ward Stone, and Vigar escaped. No, it's too late for the Ward Stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Over here, please. I need help. Please. I'm not sure I'll make it on my own. Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Name's Valder. I hunt out of Falkreath. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. I just need a little to get going. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away, not with my friends' bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. You'd really risk your life for a stranger's honor? I don't even know what to say. Thank you, my friend. I'll wait here.
done then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door.
A guest? Oh my. Doing some building, eh? We can deliver it wherever you need. I'll have them hold over right away. We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. We supply Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Felkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Trolls never seem to give us time to be alone, the nosy pests. What can I do for you? Honest gold for honest work. I'd better get going. Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promise you this. Life is far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. My husband Matthias and I tend corpse-like farm. Indara and I like to keep to ourselves and run our farm. Honest pay for honest work. Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here and he likes to keep it this way. My family thanks you. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Ugh. Been tending to your hounds? I smell like a wet dog. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command.
I'm gonna put you down! Yes, my Thane. Do you need some? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. I'll keep watch at Lakeview Manor until you return, Thane. Good hunting. What do you need, my Thane? Certainly. What did you have in mind? Very good. I'll see about hiring a carriage driver at once. Certainly. What did you have in mind? It would be pleasant to have some music in the house. I'll make inquiries about retaining the services of a bard. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll keep an eye out for a good cow to purchase. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Bard Llewellyn, known as the Nightingale. Your steward has arranged for me to take service with you. I'd better get going. my thing. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> 